everybody. We're out here on our redwood tree deck again because we're talking about our upcoming solar and battery backup installation. You can see that we have all of the inverters here. We talked about that in the previous episode, but let's talk about what we've done since then. We'll take a walk down here towards the place where the inverters and the batteries are gonna live. Again, we're gonna be building a shed for the inverters and the charge controllers, and then we'll be building a battery box for the batteries to live in with some upgrade potential so that way if we install the system and then a month or two down the road, we decide, hey, we really need more batteries, then we can add another set. So here we are. As you can see, we have leveled this area off. Fortunately, in this area, bedrock is really, really close, and that is unfractured uh, sandstone in the area that we're living in. So these pads are right on sandstone. This portion up in front is fill. The pads themselves are not located on fill, so they're gonna be pretty sturdy for us. We poured six inch concrete slabs. As you can see, we have the slab for our inverter shed right here. We decided to put it on this side because it is gonna be the side that's visible from that deck up there, so we wanted it to look a little bit cutesy. We'll put our conduit in the floor. These guys are gonna be running for power in and out, and then these guys are gonna connect the inverter shed over here to the battery box battery box is going to have a concrete block wall on the back because it's going to be retaining this hillside right here. Those charrette rolls batteries you saw at the beginning are going to be living right back here and then if we need another set we have room for the ability to double them in the front. Now these batteries are going to have to be watered every few months or so so we're going to be building this in a way that has a lid that's removable so that way you can water the batteries when you need to check on them make sure everything is okay. Be sure and let us know down there in the comment section below what you'd like us to talk about in future videos. For instance, we could talk about random things like this cement mixer right here. We ended up buying a new cement mixer because our old one died. And I have to say, this is one of my favorites. It's a wheelbarrow style. That means that the mixer drum right here is a lot closer to the ground. You can just wheel it right up to things. It doesn't tip over as easily as some of those tripod style ones. It was an awful lot easier to deal with than I thought. And so far it's uh, mixed up the concrete pretty well for these guys. Obviously it's gonna be getting an awful lot more use as we continue with this project. Let's get into the shed building. 